together the chicken mulligit turtle. Now this is one recipe which is a little bit uh, spicy. You will not have uh, you know a uh, lot of masalas. Uh, very mild ma masala you have but it is a delicious uh, curry that you can have it with. Uh, you can have it with um, patri, you can have it with chapati, appam, it will go very nicely with that because it's spicy curry like, yeah? not without any coconut milk and everything. So let's start making this. Ingredients needed. I have about 300 grams of chicken here. I'm adding about half a teaspoon of the, half teaspoon of the ginger garlic paste. I've added the chili powder here and some quarter teaspoon of the turmeric, about one teaspoon of the coriander powder and then I'm going to add some curry leaves squeeze some lime about one teaspoon or tablespoon how much of it you like it's all mind it here we do not have any other uh, ingredients that can give you a sourness so this is the only one that we have there you can put some salt also and we're going to marinate this if you have Kashmiri chili powder, please use the Kashmiri chili powder for this recipe. Okay. Let this get marinated very well for about half an hour to one hour. And I have here some uh, Kashmiri red chili here which I am going to finely grind it well and I will be adding very little to the curry in the end before I, I will tell you when I will be adding it I will need lots of curry leaf and a nicely one cup like this full of the onions that's all you will need and lot of coconut oil you will need in this masala we will not be adding more of water water will be added very less only if the chicken doesn't ooze out enough water we have to completely cook this masala in that and no frying, nothing. It will be like this kind of a masala. Try making it, I'm sure you're going to really enjoy this as well. My throat is really bad today, not able to speak very loud. Anyway, let's continue with it. I'm going to marinate this for a while and then start doing this. To this kadai what I did was I added about three tablespoon of the coconut oil now you will need little bit of more coconut oil in this recipe because it's very co coconut flavor some this kind of a gravy this is and I what I did I added all the shallots down you can see the shallots are here I have not fried anything okay I've just dumped in the shallots there now on top of it I have added the uh, chicken pieces now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of the water and I'm going to cover this and cook this very well. Now I've covered it up, kept the slow flame. Now what happens, the, or the coconut oil will get cooked, uh, I mean will get heated from down and then the onion also will get nicely cooked along with this and the flavor of the onion will release onto the chicken and the chicken will get cooked. You need and not much of masala. See, very simple and it's a very nice gravy. Just going to check how the chicken is getting cooked. I'm going to just give it a good mix and leave. I'm allowing the chicken to get cooked well in this masala. On the other hand, I have nicely grounded the um, cashmere chili and I have kept here. Soon I will be adding that as well. I am going to again cover this up. Add some more salt to the chicken. Cover it up and cook till the chicken is almost 90% done. Now this is going to Grounded chili. <coughs> this is Kashmiri chili only, so don't worry looking at the color. 
it will not be spicy at all. The chicken has been boiling very well. You can see the oil has come up. That means the chicken is ready to go. Now I have just added some lime juice. Squeezing half lime into it. And then you have a look at the taste of this curry. And then ready to plate. You will only have so much of gravy. It's a thick kind of gravy and it is not watery like. Our chicken malvatada is ready to go. Our chicken malagata gravy is ready. You can have it with parathas, you can have it with chapati, you can have it with uh, ghee rice or you can have it even with naichoro or tin rice. Goes very well with even patri, anything it goes well. Very nicely spiced and uh, very delicious. Although the colors like this but don't get scared that the curry is going to be too very spicy. No, the curry is not at all spicy but very tasty. The flavor of the coconut, the small shallots, everything together enhances this curry so much. Try making it, I'm sure you're going to really love it. Thank you for watching me. Happy cooking, happy eating.